Welcome to PC Dots Solutions. In this video, we will introduce the effortless way how to convert ICE warp emails to EML file format. Let's start by downloading PC Dots ICE warp converter on our machines. Now, go to the open tab and see the list, software support many email client in file format. Now, go to the open tab and choose ICE warp accounts. If you have ICE warp email client configured on the machine, click on open configured ICE warp accounts. Otherwise, select choose from a folder option. Here, we are continuing to ICE warp accounts option. As you can see, different different folders listed in the software interface on the left. You can hide system folders during conversion. It is done by running the application on a Windows computer and click on Compact option. It also hides subfolders to facilitate the conversion. Now, tap on the ICE Warp email that preview you want to see in the software interface and get the view. As you can see, different different folders listed in the software interface on the left. Please choose the required ICE Warp folder. It's fantastic that you can see the email content and other details such as email properties, signature, sender information and more. If that ICE Warp mail includes attachments, this tool allows you to open, save, and save all in one tap. So, choose as per the requirements. The Export tab gives you multiple options to save email message into standard formats. And Extract tab helps you to take out email addresses, attachments, phone number and more from the emails. Choose Email option from the Export option list. Then, mark the required folder and unmark the rest. Then, Click on Browse and specify a location on your system to get the final results. Now, let's understand the advanced functions of the tool one by one. The first is open folders after export is done. If you enable this feature, then the target folder where the output file is saved gets automatically opened after the conversion. The next one is to create empty folders, please disable this option so that you can avoid creating empty folders. The other one is to delete old folders. If you want to delete previously converted data from the destination folder, then please enable this option. Next is an include email header, we recommend you to disable this option to remove headers from your output data to reduce output file size. Finally, go to the save button and see the live conversion of emails into EML file format. You can also see the email count exported in the EML files. Once the task gets completed, you get a successful message. Click on the OK button and go to open folder. Now, you will see the resultant folder. Click on it and see the emails in EML files. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment box. To watch more videos, please subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.